So you guys remember we talked a couple weeks ago about a company called Plate Station. Yeah. And they yeah. were going to make these custom plates for the PS5. Mm-hmm. Obviously, uh, Sony was like, <clears throat> and they were like, oh, sorry, never mind. No, we, we were just playing Sony. <laughs> Sony, we're we were just playing. making these Mickey Moose things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mickey Moose. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And the Rockies Modern Life uh, bobbleheads. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Watch me pull uh, a rabbit out of my head. <laughs> So they're back. They're huh? back as C M as in Mary P shells. CMPshells.com. They are back. They are the PS5 custom plate maker. They've got three designs mm. available for the store. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, hold up, Dad. You yeah. can't just change a name and think that we're not gonna see what you do it. Right. They said they have a patent pending. And all sales are finalized before it's approval, uh, before it's approved, before it's approved are untouchable. That doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, before Sorry. the patent is approved? M- maybe. I don't know. Here, moving on. It says <laughs> we didn't, we didn't know before. Now we do. Further, we have not replicated anyone's proprietary design. Our shells improve upon the original by allowing for more ventilation we will be able to sell even after the patent is approved huh. so they're saying hmm. we changed it just enough yep. like ed saying yep. working with mickey moose and rocky's modern life that they uh shouldn't get sued into oblivion not yet until they do You're right <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> Uh, here's the three shells that you can get right now. The two are the same, but there's three different packages, I guess. Um, they have just the blackout PS five, which looks so slick, Mm. uh, for $50. Um, that same shell with a matching dual sense controller shell Mm. for $70 Mm. and a Kratos bundle Mm. for $70, which has the insignia of God of war Ragnarok. The, you know that they show at the end of the trailer. Wait, on, can they do that, that though? I was going to say that's a copyright insignia. Listen, I'm I don't work there. No, they're going to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Monica is going to come after them for copyright infringement. There's no way they can get away with that, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I like how, I don't know how anybody does anything. Honestly, like I would think that it's just a, a logistical nightmare to do what limited run games does. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where they take these games and make physical copies of them and all that. Like that seems like a headache to me. So I don't know <laughs> what kind of handshake deals there can be or, or, or what. Yeah. So that's it's weird. I mean, weird they're sitting, the, they seem pretty confident that they're not going to be, they're not, nobody's going to come after them. This go around yeah. the first time though. I don't know that they were super confident. I think they were more like, "Oh, we hope this is it. this is going to go fine," and then they thought they could get out of it. I, I don't, I don't, I didn't see the same level of confidence from their dialogue as I do here. Yeah, so. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 